Dogs Worth in New York. Chapter 1. Breakfast. Darksworth wanted adventure. He wanted to fly in a plane. He wanted to sail on a ship. He wanted to see the world. But first he wanted breakfast. He went to his favorite place. Hodges Cafe. He loved Hodges Hodges's pancakes. Everybody did. They were the best pancakes in the world. Dogsworth walked into the cafe. He it was very early, so there was nobody around. Nobody that is, but Hodges's duck. But Hodges's duck. Hodges's duck was crazy. Morning, said Dogsworth. The duck stared at him. May I please have some pancakes? Asked Dogsworth. The duck turned and jumped into a stool. The duck started singing, fluffy pancakes in the air. Pancakes, pancakes everywhere. Oh no, said Dogsworth. The duck flew behind the counter. He tried throwing pancakes at Dogsworth. Dodsworth. Dodsworth tried to catch the pancakes. He caught three out of seven. Hodges ran out from the kitchen. He grabbed the duck. Sorry about that, Dodsworth, he said. You're bright and early. Yep, said Dodsworth. I'm going on an adventure. Where to? said Hodges. To New York, Paris, London. You must name it, said Dodsworth. Sounds exciting, said Hodges. The duck said nothing. Dodsworth, fini Dodsworth finished his breakfast. He bid farewell to Hodges. Hodges wished him well. Dodsworth tipped his hat and pedaled away. Dodsworth arrived at the train station. He bought a ticket to New York. From there, he would sail across the ocean. He was very excited. The train started chug chugging along over hills and under bridges, through, through fields and forests. It was the start of a grand adventure. Two hours later, Dodsworth went to open his trunk. As he lifted the lid, the duck jumped out. Finally, said the duck, I could hardly breathe. Dogsworth couldn't believe it. What are you doing here? He shouted. Looking for excitement, said the duck. Where are we going? He asked. Dogsworth was not happy. We are not going anywhere. He shouted, I'm going on an adventure. Alone, you are going back on the next train. The duck looked out the window. This is fun, he said. Dogsworth went up the conductor. Can you please stop this train? He asked. Not until in New York, said the conductor. Dogsworth was very upset. He marched back to his room. The duck had taken all of Dog Dodsworth's clothes out of the trunk. He was lying on them. This is a life, he said. Dogsworth was very angry. Get, him get out of my clothes, he shouted. Look at the mess you made. Whoa, said the duck. Calm down there, partner. I will not calm down, shouted Dodsworth, and I am not your partner. Chapter 3. New York City. The next morning, the train pulled into New York City. Dodsworth bought a ticket for the duck to go home. He turned to give the duck the ticket. He saw the duck getting on the subway. 
Again, Dog Suet was very mad. Fine, he shouted. Good luck to you. He started walking to the boatyard. Paris, here I come. He grumbled. He wa- walked for a mile, but then he stopped. He knew how Hodges, how worried Hodges must be. He knew ha- he had to find the duck. All I wanted was a, all I wanted was a simple little adventure. He sa- said. He wanted, walked around New York City all day, across the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge. Up to Yankee Stadium, down to Wall Street. There was no sign of the duck, but Dodsworth was amazed at the giant buildings. He headed over to Washington, Washington Square. There was lots of ducks, and they all looked the same. A lady was feeding them bread. A lady was feeding feeding them bread. Only one duck was throwing bread back at the lady. Aha! Shouted Dodsworth. He chased the duck down to the Hudson River, but the ducks, but the duck got away again. Dodsworth sat and watched the boats for a while. He thought he saw the duck on one of the boats. Why would a duck take a boat? She wondered. The boat was going to the Statue of Liberty. Dodsworth took the next boat. He arrived at the statue and climbed to the top. There was no sign of duck anywhere. There was. However, a great view of st- the city. That night, Dodsworth checked into the hot hotel near Central Park. He kept trying to call ho- Hodges on the phone. Still, no answer. At one point, he thought he saw the duck in the park. It was too late to tell for sure. In the morning, he walked to a diner across from the park. He ordered pancakes. They were not as good as Hodges's, not even close. Dodsworth watched as the park came to life. A band started playing music. Folks started flying kites. A magician began doing tricks. I shall now pull a rabbit from my hat," said the magician. He pulled out the duck instead. "Aha!" screamed Dodsworth. The duck took off. Dodsworth tried to catch the duck all day. He chased him up to Park Avenue. Even though he couldn't find the duck, Dodsworth liked how fancy everyone was dressed. Later, he saw the duck go into the Museum of Modern Art. Dodsworth searched and searched, but he couldn't find the duck anywhere in the museum either. That evening, he spotted the duck walking into Radio City Music Hall. The movie was playing, so it was really dark. Since Dodsworth couldn't see the duck, he said to just enjoy the movie. After a while, somebody started throwing popcorn at the screen. Dodsworth knew who the somebody was. He stood up and saw the duck. "Aha!" he shouted. "Shh!" shouted everyone. Everybody else. The duck ran out and jumped in. 
onto a bus. Dodsworth jumped into a taxi cab. Follow that duck, he said. Said the taxi followed the duck. The bus went into Coney Island. Dodsworth watched the duck get on fair on the Ferris wheel. He waited until just the right second. Gotcha! He said as he grabbed the duck. Hey! Said the duck. How's it going? Chapter Four: Going Home. Dogsworth brought the duck to the train station. You should be ashamed," said the said Dogsworth. "You worried Hodges. You worried me. You could have been lost forever." Sorry," said the duck. The duck lowered his head. Dogsworth put his hand on the duck. "Oh, it's all right," he said. "Don't be sad." The duck started snoring. It was sound asleep. Dodsworth went to the to a phone booth. He called Hodges again. "Hello, hello, hello," said Hodges. He sounded sad. Hodges shouted, "Dodsworth, I've got the duck. He's with me!" Hodges screamed, "That crazy duck! I've been worried sick." Sorry, he ruined your adventure," said Hodges. "Ruined it? He was the adventure," said Dodsworth. They both laughed. "We'll, we'll head home on the next train," said Dodsworth. Dodsworth went back to the duck. Went back to the duck. To his great dismay, the duck was gone again. Dodsworth looked out the window. The duck was getting on a boat. Dodsworth ran and jumped on the boat. The boat started sailing away. Hurry," said Dodsworth. "Let's swim back to the shore." "No can do," said the duck. "I can't swim." "What?" shouted Dodsworth. "You're a duck." "Sorry," said the duck. "Never learn how to swim." The city became farther and farther away. Dodsworth saw the boat was going to on to Paris. He went to the phone and called Hodges again. "Uh, hey," he said. "Listen, everything is fine. The duck is still with me, but well, it might take a little longer than we thought." The end.